the character that I play, Samuel Daly, he meets him on the train and understands he's very young. Uh, he doesn't know where he's going. I know the history of the place. Uh, and he just decides maybe to keep an eye out for him without uh, exposing the history of the community that he's going into. So in a way, it's a, it's a paternal relation, but you have to understand that the man is in denial as well. He hasn't fully faced up to his own grief and history. So it's not as if he uh, is fully forthcoming with everything. It's almost like a guide, but at the same time, he's looking for help as well. It's more of a spine chiller about an atmosphere that is created uh, by what goes on and the it's rather than the things that go bump in the night or the sudden tension although there will be moments of that in the story because you don't know what's behind that door um, you hear a sound and then maybe there's something maybe there's nothing or maybe it's your imagination um, so it's quite psychological but things do manifest themselves in it as well Daniel's such a, an open hearted person by nature uh, and very committed. I could tell by then he's very committed to what he does, very interested. And this is a, this is a great thing for him because he, he, he's he got to hold this thing on his own. He's the protagonist, you see it through him. He's got to go through the whole emotional journey of it and yet he's, um, he's grown up more. Of course, you know, from the age of Harry Potter, he's played from 10 to 19 or 20, now he's 21 and he's now becoming fully adult and uh, is well capable of taking on that responsibility.